Hello there. Today in this video, we are going to talk about notes. I just drew some of the four most commonly used notes that you would see or hear in music. And we're just going to talk about what they look like and what they sound like. Now, when I say sound, I'm not talking about pitch. So pitch is when you would see the note on a series of lines and spaces, and that's going to determine a different sound. That's not what I'm talking to you about today. Today I'm talking about how long a note or how short a note can be held. It might have a certain number of counts. So we're going to talk about the names of these notes and how long they get held. And then in some future videos, we will do some rhythm exercises. So let's start with the top. As you can see, I drew four notes and the top note right here is just a circle. That circle is called a whole note and typically I'll explain why I'm saying typically. Typically, the whole note gets four counts. Now, we haven't talked about time signatures yet. I know I'm throwing a lot of big words out there. A time signature is going to tell you how many counts or how many beats are in each measure of music. Don't worry about that. That's gonna be in a separate video. Let's stick to the basics and just remember that this right here is a whole note, looks like a circle, and it gets four counts, okay? One, two, three, four. Now, this one looks like a circle with a stem on it. You might see the stem going up this way, or you might even see it going down this way, right? Doesn't change the note. The stem might be pointing up, the stem might be pointing down. Doesn't change the note at all. Still gets two counts. That means you would hold the note, whatever instrument you're playing, or if you're singing it, you hold it for two counts. The next one is a quarter note. So it looks like this, except filled in, and that gets one count. Down here, it looks like a quarter note, but then they add a little flag to it. So this little cute note here with a pretty little flag is called an eighth note. Over here, what I did was I connected two of these together just to show you what it looks like. You would see this a lot, actually. So when you connect two eighth notes together, they're connected by this beam right here. So an eighth note gets half of a count. So imagine the math involved, right? Half plus half equals one. So we have two eighth notes being the equivalent of one count. So let's go back up to the top and go through each note. Take the whole note, right? And you can pick any note you want. And on ta, we're gonna hold it for four counts, all right? And I'm going to clap so that we have a sense of how long to hold it, okay? So starting with the whole note, let's just pick ta, all right, here we go. Ta. Right? So we held that note. We sustained it for four counts. That's a whole note. Now, half note, just two counts. Here we go. Ta. Two counts. Quarter note. This will be easy. Ta. One beat. Now, this one. I'm going to actually use these so that you have an idea of how these sound inside of a beat, okay? So if this is the beat, right? Remember, quarter note, that gets the beat. If I were dividing it into those two equal eighth notes right here, it would sound like this, right? Quarter, 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 eighth, 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 eighth. See what I'm doing? I'm dividing the beat. This is the beat. These are eighth notes, all right? And you can have any series of these notes. You can have, you know, a half note, a whole note, um, several quarter notes in a row. That's where the fun begins. That's where rhythm comes into play. I'm sure you've heard the word rhythm before. So it's a matter of understanding the pulse of the music, but also understanding the series of notes in a row that make up the rhythmic pattern. Music is all about patterns. You hear it all the time. I'm just giving you a visual. I'm giving you the language of it. So in some upcoming videos, I will talk about the pitch and how to understand how to read music that way. But this was just a basic example to get us started on how to understand rhythm in music. All right, stay tuned for the next one.